In this demonstration, you'll see how to deploy the Azure edition of Windows Server 2022 from the Windows Server 2022 section of the Evaluation Center. So here, I already have an Azure account provisioned. If you select the Try Windows Server on Azure option, it will allow you to go through and set up a trial account. Here, I select Create a Virtual Machine in Azure. Now, when I do this, it gives me a page that allows me to click Get It Now. I select that. It asks for some personal information and which software plan I want to go with. Here, I am selecting Windows Server 2022 Data Center Azure Edition, and that's the image it's going to load for Azure. I select Continue. It then takes me to the Azure portal and starts the process of deploying Windows Server. So I provide a resource group name. Here I'm just calling it Server 2022 eval. I provide a virtual machine name, 2022 eval. I am going with all of the defaults here that it's provisioned for me. I give it the administrator name prime and I provide a password. Here, I'm just going to go with the defaults, except I'm going to close off all inbound public ports because I don't want this server open to the internet on the RDP port. I'll fix that in a minute. I go through and I'm just selecting all of the default options for disks. It's going to create me a virtual network, the management options and monitoring, no tags. I select review and create, and then I select create. It goes and creates the virtual machine. The deployment's in progress, and then the deployment's complete. I select go to resource, and I can see the properties of the virtual machine, including its public IP address. But what I need to do now is go to networking and add an inbound port rule. And this inbound port rule is going to be configured for my personal IP address, and it's going to be for the RDP protocol. This will allow me to make connections over the internet from my IP address to this virtual machine without it being accessible to any other IP address on the internet. I go back to the overview page, I copy the IP address of the virtual machine. I then open Remote Desktop Connection, paste in the IP address of the virtual machine, click Connect, put in my username of Prime and my password. I click OK, and I have now made a remote desktop connection through to this server. And we can see it's called 2022 eval. So remote desktop connection through to a server running in Azure. I minimize the remote desktop connection. Now, you can use Remote Desktop Connection to manage Windows Server 2022 in Azure in the traditional manner. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to configure the server with Windows Admin Center. So I can install Windows Admin Center from the Azure portal. I select Windows Admin Center on the Virtual Machine's properties. I select Open the inbound port. And what Azure does is it goes and installs Windows Admin Center remotely on that virtual machine that I've just deployed. Now that Windows Admin Center is deployed, I can select to connect to that virtual machine. I'm selecting to connect via the private IP address. I click Connect. Windows Admin Center then opens using my local credentials to that virtual machine. I can use Windows Admin Center as normal from this particular blade. It would be exactly the same as if I was connecting to Windows Admin Center on my local area network. The next thing I do is I'm going to remote desktop from Windows Admin Center using my browser into the virtual machine. So I again put in my username and password. I trust the certificate it presents to me. I click connect. And now Windows Admin Center opens Remote Desktop in the browser. And you can see there that I'm viewing exactly what I viewed through the normal Remote Desktop window. I can see the server name there as 2022 eval. And I can minimize that window and I can see the Windows Server 2022 desktop. So in this demonstration, I deployed the Azure edition of Windows Server 2022 from the eval center into my Azure account. I configured and connected via remote desktop normally. I then installed Windows Admin Center from the portal and used the Azure portal's connection to Windows Admin Center to then administer and then connect to that virtual machine.